My name's Malan, and I've been on a break from a while for my YouTube videos because I felt like I just needed a break, you know, I just needed to step back because I was coming kind of attached to it in a bad kind of way. You know, I was kind of like looking to get my dopamine from it, like, oh, how many views am I getting? How many likes am I getting? And I was kind of missing the point of why I wanted to do this and why I wanted to talk on YouTube and you know, what were my intentions for doing it and it was, they were starting to become a bit unhealthy and needy. And I also realised that, you know, YouTube honestly doesn't really change people's lives, you know. Like I've, I've watched so many YouTube videos and I just get caught in cycles of watching stuff, you know, like the next video or maybe this video looks really interesting, I'm going to add that to my queue, I'm going to add that to watch later and then you watch it and then it goes into the next one and the next one. And I found that I was intaking all this information, but none of it was actually being retained. Not all of it was being retained and none of it was really life changing. You know, there was a few nice quotes, there was a few nice lessons and learnings and I understood things a lot more, which I think is very beneficial, especially at the start, which I've talked about in my stages of understanding video is that you've got to understand things from a wide perspective of view before you know taking action and then experimenting and see how it actually fits with your life and you know i'm not sure how long my last video has been but over the past month or so since i've been doing that i've just been focusing on more on taking action and on you know living my life more because especially on youtube you know everybody's talking and youtube isn't really going to change your life as i've said before and as i'm saying now because People can just keep talking, they can keep talking, but talking is an action. Talking isn't actually doing anything, you know. And I've developed this really simple kind of philosophy, you know, you're either doing it or you're not doing it. And it's as simple as that, you know, because we're, deep down we know what we should be doing. We know what we want to do. We know what our next path should be. But sometimes we get caught up in these big ideas because we're fed these incentives from social media, movies, all these inputs that we're getting. And they're all just distorting our view and we've got all these conflicting ideas and you know for me it just created so much doubt like i was like oh well i want success in like soccer and music because i want all that money and i want it just looks like an amazing kind of lifestyle but what i was seeing were only the good parts of it you know i wasn't seeing the daily drudgery of it i wasn't seeing how you know people actually reach that and you know like people have natural gifts and skills and that should be utilized more. And from that, I realized, you know, that I was forcing things so much, you know, I was forcing this YouTube channel, I was forcing so many things in my life. I was forcing people to like me. I was forcing trying to have friends. I was trying to force myself into something that I wasn't, you know, and I just realized like, I need to kind of take a step back and kind of, you know, think about what I really want in my life and, you know, experiment with things. And so back to kind of my simple philosophy of you're either doing it or you're not doing it. You know, like it's quite simple, you know, are you cleaning up after yourself? Are you working out, taking care of your mind and your body? Are you learning new things? Are you helping other people? And that's a really important one for me because I found that even though I'm quite a compassionate person, I can be quite compassionate and empathetic with people. I wasn't doing much to actually do that. And you know, I was getting caught in these big dreams like, oh, you know, one day I'm going to make this big break on YouTube and then my life is going to change. I'm going to help everyone. But it was just like my ego just wanted to be propped up and like, oh, Malin, the YouTuber, he wants to be famous. He wants to earn money from this. You know, he's going to change people's lives. But then at the same time, I was kind of holding myself back because I didn't believe in myself. I didn't believe that I had value to give to people that I could actually change people's lives and you know offer what i have learned and what's worked for me and see you know maybe it could help you and i hope that it does and <laughs> it's just funny how in life we can sometimes think that something is the answer and oftentimes it's not and anyway <laughs> i think i'm just prattling on a bit too much now but going forward, I'm going to try and set, share my insights when I feel like they need to be shared, what needs to be said. And yeah, I think I'll do another video on kind of my simple philosophy because I think it's very, I think it's very useful. You know, you, we need to just be acting and doing things and 
now I'm just talking about things too much. So I'm going to stop here. So thank you for watching if you did and we'll see what happens next. Take care.